Hi, I'm Cody, and today is all about vectoring. If you want to get good at transformer connections, get good at this. Here we go. Okay, guys, so here we are. So today we're just going to run through about four different vectoring problems. And this is going to be one of those episodes, man, where you're just going to want to grab a beer, grab a piece of paper and a pencil and just do these along with me. The only way to get good at this stuff is to do it. So my hopes are that you guys run through these problems with me. And then tomorrow, you take your apprentice, take your grunt, take your fellow journeyman, whatever, and run them through some of this stuff and show them how easy this stuff is, guys. This explains everything about where the voltages come from, meaning how we create the secondary voltage that the customer needs. So, all right, here we go. So we've got our first problem up here. We've got our circuit voltage, which is 4,800 delta. We've got our nameplate, which the primary input is gonna be 4,800 volts. Output is 12240. There's three transformers. Customer needs 12240, three phase, four wire. So three phases and a neutral. So I've got my primary circuit sitting right here. It's a delta circuit. So phase to phase, we got 4,800 volts. And if you guys want a better explanation of where all these voltages come from, like Y circuits, delta circuits, what's available to us um, in regards to what primary circuit we're working on, I'm going to put a link right here in the video, um, going back to a previous video that I did, where it explains all that. So the first step here is to determine the primary hookup, either Y or delta. The way that we do that is we know that our circuit voltage consists of the phase-to-phase -phase potential of the circuit and what type of circuit it is. The nameplate information is the second piece that we need. So the nameplate primary input is requiring 4,800 volts. The little hack that I talked about is if this number matches your circuit voltage, it's gonna be a delta hookup. So primary hookup is gonna be a delta. Now looking at my secondary side, I've got a 12240 three phase four wire. That's my customer needs. Customer needs always determines secondary hookup, not the nameplate. Customer needs always determines the secondary hookup. So remember the little hack that we had before in that previous video was delta divide, right? How, we, how do we determine the secondary hookup? Customer needs determine secondary hookup. If the phase to neutral voltage divides evenly into the phase to phase voltage, it's gonna be a delta. If it doesn't, it's a Y, but this one does, right? 120, 240 divides evenly. Therefore, the secondary side is a delta. So we're gonna build a delta, delta bank. The next step is to number my transformers out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just numbering my primary bushings, right? Left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I do the same thing for my secondary bushings. So now I'm ready to hook up my one and two bushing into my circuit. So what I'm gonna do, the way that I'm gonna give that transformer 4,800 volts on this circuit was a delta hookup, right? Or a phase to phase hookup. So this one, two transformer is gonna be sitting right there. One going to A, two going to B. The second transformer is gonna be my BC transformer. So I'm gonna have three going into B, four going into, or C going into four, excuse me. And my last transformer is my C to A transformer, right? So five is gonna be fed by C, six will be that outside delta tie going back to A phase. So now we're ready to hook it up. So we can come over here, we can say, okay, my one, two transformer, one is going to A, so one is gonna be fed by A phase. Two is going to B. Well, two and three are tied together, right? Going to B. So what I can do here is I can go two to three and then take my three up to B. Next is my, my four, five tie, right? Four and five are tied together and going to C. So four and five tie together, going to C. And then lastly, my six to one tie, right? So six and one are tied together and they're going to A. So six is tied back to one and they're going to A phase. 
So my primary is done. That's the hookup. It's that easy. So now let's look at our secondary side. So my secondary phase angles that I have to work with are going to mirror the, the primary phase angles that are feeding them, which makes sense, right? Here's my primary phase angle. I just energized it. It's creating the secondary phase angle. It has to be in the same, same angle. So I've got my one, two line. One is on top, two is on bottom. So one is on top, two is on bottom. The next one is my four, three, right? So my four, three transformer, four is on top. And what I mean by on top, like if this was my lateral line or my level line, excuse me, if that's my level line, four is higher than three, right? So four is on top, three is on bottom. So four is on top, three is on bottom. And lastly, five, six transformer, right? I've got my five, six transformer. Six is on top, five is on bottom. So six is on top, five is on bottom. So now I have to build a delta shape out of these three angles. And each one of these angles is going to be consistent, meaning, meaning one is on top, two is on bottom, four is on top, three is on bottom, six is on top, five is on bottom. I cannot change that. That is what it is. You can never flip-flop those. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my 1-2 transformer. I'm going to stick it right here. One is on top, two is on bottom. I've got my 4-3 transformer, right? So four is on top. 4 is on top, 3 is on bottom. So I'm going to take this transformer line and I'm going to I'm going to bring it over here and I have two spots I can put it. I can put my 4 to 1, meaning I can stick that transformer right here, in which case my 5 6 transformer would have to go right here, right? So what I'm going to do just to make it pretty, I'll show you later what's going on, but this is what's going on. So this is what we're going to do for this one. 4 is on top, 3 is on bottom. I'm going to stick it right there. Four is on top, three is on bottom. And my five, six transformer, again, pick that up. Six is on top, right? I'm sticking it right here. Six is on top, five's on bottom. So it just mirrors the primary vector. This one's like crazy easy. So I've got a one to six tie, a two to three tie, and a four to five tie. So the customer needs 120, 240, three phase, four wire, right? So three phases and a neutral is what's making up that fourth wire, right? So what we're gonna do is off my three, four transformer, I'm gonna take the middle bushing, right? So I will have 120, 120, 240, right? So that midpoint tap, that middle bushing, I'm gonna make that one my neutral. And what I have now what I have now is four to neutral, 120, right? Three to neutral, 120. Neutral to this phase out here, it's gonna be our wild leg, right? Our 208 leg. Remember, anytime we introduce a neutral to a delta circuit, we're gonna create that wild leg, right? Every time. So we've got 240, 240, 240, 120, 120. So let's hook it up. So first off, we got a one to six, right? So one to six, just like that. Secondly, we've got our two to three tie. So a two to three tie, and lastly, we got our four to five tie, right? And lastly, we've got our neutral over here, right? We can't forget that, coming off our three, four transformer. So we've got neutral, we've got phase, we've got phase, and either our one or six we can bring down is our wild leg, right? Because they're the same phase. One and six are both tied together. So now let's bring one down. So this one's gonna be my wild leg. That's a phase to neutral voltage of 208. I've got 120, 120, 240, and then phase to phase 240, phase to phase 240, phase to phase 240. So that's our first one. So here's our next one. We've got a circuit voltage, 7,200 volt Y, nameplate 4160 slash 7,200 Y with a 277 output. Customer needs 277, 480, 
three phase four wire. Again, three phases on a neutral. So our first step is to determine our primary hookup, right? So remember, if the transformer needs, which here's what the transformer needs, right? Anytime there's two numbers, it's always a smaller one. So 4160 is the primary input. I'm on a 7200 volt circuit. So this transformer on this circuit would be a Y hookup because 4160 volts lives phase to neutral on this circuit. So this is gonna be a Y hookup. The next step is to determine the secondary hookup. So our customer needs 277, 480, three phase four wire. And remember, customer needs always determines the hookup. And the little hack that we had was the whole delta divide thing, right? So here, delta does not, this does not divide evenly, does it? 277 does not go evenly into 480. Therefore, it is not a delta, it is a Y. So now that we know our primary and secondary hookup, we can come over here to our transformers. Again, this was three transformers. So three transformers, and we're gonna number our bushings from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And do the same thing on the secondary side, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're ready to hook up our primary side. So I can take my one, two transformer, and stick it between A and neutral. So one on going to A, two going to neutral. I can take my three, four transformer, put three to B, or three to B, four to neutral. And lastly, take my five, six transformer, five going to C, six going to neutral. So according to our vector, we're gonna tie two, four, and six together and bring them to neutral. My one bushing is gonna be fed by A phase, three is gonna be fed by B phase, and five is gonna be fed by C phase. So let's hook it up. So I've got one going to A. So one is going to A. I've got my two, my four, and my six all tied together and going to neutral. So two, four, and six all tie together and go to neutral, right? Sorry, my end's all ugly. <laughs> I've got three going to B and I've got five going to C. Primary's done. So now it's time to hook up our secondary. So I've got my one, two line sitting here, my four, three line and my five, six line, right? Each one being 277 inches long. So I've got two different ways I can hook this up, right? I can do this being one way, or I can do this. Same three angles, right? Let's do it this way. So I'm gonna start by taking my one, two line. I'm gonna bring it down. One is on top, two is on bottom. Next, I'm gonna take my four, three line. So take four, three, four is on top, right? I'm gonna stick it right here. Four is on top, three is on bottom. And lastly, my five, six line, right? Six is on top. I'm gonna to take it and stick it right there. Six is on top, five's on bottom. So I've got a one, three, five tie, all going to neutral. My two, four, and six will be my output phases. So let's hook it up. So I've got my one, three, and five all tied together. They're gonna to go to, that'll be my neutral. So one, my three, and my five all tied together. It's gonna to be my neutral. I've got my two, four, and six are gonna be my output phases. So two is a phase, four is a phase, and six is a phase. I've got 277 inches, 277 inches, 277 inches, right? From four to two, I've got 480 inches. When we say this, when we, when we talk about vectoring just being angles and distance, this is what we're talking about. So I take a 277 inch line and another 277 inch line, connect them in a midpoint, and they're separated by 120 20 degrees displacement, right? That makes the outside points 480 inches apart. That's how we create the other voltages in a Y secondary. So 
it's like that all the way around, right? So I've got 480 from 4 to 2. I've got 480 from 2 to 6. And I've got 480 from 4 to 6. 277, 480. So phase to neutral, 277. Phase to neutral, 277. Phase to neutral, 277. And then phase to phase, all the way around, is going to be 480 inches. So here's our third problem. We've got our circuit voltage, 12470 grounded Y. Our nameplate, 7200 12470 Y, 24480. Customer needs 480, three phase, three wire. So the three wires are just the three phases. So there's no neutral on this. That's called a power bank. So again, guys, the first step is to determine both our primary and secondary hookup. So primary hookup, we've got a 12470 grounded Y circuit. So our phase-to-phase -phase potential 12470. Our transformer needs 7,200 volts. So is this number the same as that number? The answer is no, therefore it is a Y. Secondary hookup, customer needs always determine the secondary hookup, right? So there is no other number to do delta divide on this one. So what we have to do is go back and look at what kind of transformers we have. So 24480 transformers, right? So the way that we have to build 480 inches phase to phase to phase is going to be to take this 480 inch line and put it into a delta configuration, right? Meaning like this. So 480 inches, 480 inches, 480 inches, right? So from here to here, that's a 480 inch line. Therefore, phase to phase 480, phase to phase 480, phase to phase 480. If we were to try to take those same 480 inch lines and put them in a Y configuration, we would have a lot bigger voltage than 480. So it would be 480 inches here, 480 inches here. And what you could do, you can multiply that by 1.73 and figure out what your actual phase to phase distance would be. And if I remember right, I think it's something like, like 830 volts or something like that. So this would be 480, 480. This distance here to here to here to here would be like 830. So the only option that we have is to hook it up in a delta configuration. So a secondary hookup is going to be a delta. So next, we have to number our transformer bank from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, both primary and secondary. Then we go come over to our primary circuit. It's a Y hookup, right? So I'll take my 1, 2 transformer and feed it with A phase. 1 going to A, 2 going to neutral. My 3, 4 transformer, 3 is going to go to B, 4 is going to go to neutral. And my 5, 6 transformer, I'm going to put 5 to C, 6 to neutral. So we've got a 2, 4, 6 tie. 1 is going to go to A, 3 is going to go to B, 5 is going to go to C. So 2, 4, 6 tie, right? So 2, 4, and 6 all tied together going to neutral. 1 going to A. 3 going to B. 5 going to C. So now the secondary side, right? So we've got a delta secondary. So I've got my three angles that I just created with my primary. Remembering that 1 is on top, 4 is on top, and 6 is on top. So here, one is on top, four is on top, and six is on top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with my one, two line again. One is on top, right? On the primary, one is on top. Therefore, it has to be on top here. Two on bottom. Next, my three, four transformer. I'm going to bring that straight over here. Four is high, four is on top, three is on bottom. And lastly, I take my 5, 6 transformer, right? 6 is on top. 6 is on top. 5 is on bottom. So I've got a 1 to 6, 2 to 3, and a 4 to 5 tie. And remember, this is a power bank, right? Meaning there is no phase to neutral potential. We don't have a neutral in this bank. It's just three phases. Three phase, 
three wire. So next, we hook it up, right? We've got a one to six tie, so one ties to six. We've got a two to three tie, two's gonna tie to three. Four to five tie, four is gonna tie over to five. So I can bring a two or a three down, a one or a six down, or a four or five down for my three phases. So I'm gonna bring a three down, that's gonna be a phase. I'm gonna bring a four down, so come over here, bring my four down. There's another phase, and I'll bring a six down as another phase. So phase to phase 480, phase to phase 480, phase to phase 480, right? So guys, here's our last one. So we've got circuit voltage 16 kV delta, nameplate 16 kV, secondary output 120, customer needs 120, 208, three phase four wire. So again, three phases and a neutral. So by this point, you should be a little bit well versed at this. We need to figure out our primary and secondary hookup, right? So 16 kV delta, nameplate, the primary input is 16 kV. The little hack, if this number, the primary input, matches the circuit voltage, which is the phase-to-phase -phase potential of the circuit, remember, it's going to be a delta. So this number matches that number, therefore it is a delta hookup. Secondary connection. So 12208, customer needs. Remember, customer needs always determine the secondary hookup. So 12208, and the little hack here was delta divide, right? So does the phase to neutral potential divide evenly into the phase to phase potential? If it does, it's a delta. If it does not, it's a Y. So here, obviously 120 does not go into 208 evenly. Therefore, it is a Y. So we've got a delta Y bank. So next, again, number our transformer bushings from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six on both the primary and the secondary. Next, I'm going to take my one, two transformer. Here's my primary circuit, right? So I'm going to take my one, two transformer stick it between A and B. I'm going to take my 3-4 transformer and stick it between B and C. 3 going to B, 4 going to C. And finally, my 5-6 transformer. Next is my secondary, right? So I have to build a Y secondary hookup with these three angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my 1-2 transformer one is on top, right? Same as my primary. If one is high on my primary, one will be high on my secondary. Two is on bottom. My 4-3 transformer, four is on top, right? So four is on top, three is on bottom. Stick it right there, so four and three. And lastly, my 5-6 transformer, right? Six is on top, five is on bottom. So I bring that down right here. Five on bottom, six on top. So I've got a two, four, six tie all tied together. That'll be my neutral. One will be a phase, three will be a phase, and five will be a phase. I've got 120 inches, 120 inches, and 120 inches. And between five and three, I've got 208 inches. Between one and three, I've got 208 inches. And between one and five, I've got 208 inches. So let's hook it up. So I've got two, four, six all tied together. That'll be my neutral. So two, four, and six all tied together. That will be my neutral. My one, three, and five will each be phases. So one is gonna be a phase, three will be a phase, and five will be a phase. So guys, thank you for making it all the way through this video. Uh, I know that kind of stuff is real tough and uh, yeah, it's tough. But if you wanna get good at transformers, that's the bread and butter. That's where you need to start. It explains everything. Vectoring is a heck of a tool. It shows us where the voltages come from and how we're supposed to hook transformers up. 
and all that. So if you get good at doing that, it's really hard to mess it up, believe it or not. So guys, if you have any questions, cares, comments, please leave them down below. Um, I have my email and everything linked in the description. So if you guys have any serious questions, long-winded questions, just drop me a line. I'd love to get back with you guys. And as always, guys, like, share, subscribe, and uh, keep learning. We'll see you next time.